Okay, we've got another interesting integral from the MIT integration. It should be 2025 quarterfinals 1-1. One, one. We have the integral from 1 to infinity, x to the fifth, e minus x, dx. And I'm doing two videos on this one, kind of comparing just very different methods. The other video, what we did was just straightforward methods, integration my parts on this. Here I want to try to use a Laplace transform on it, even though we don't have the lower bound at zero the way we'd like for the definition of a Laplace transform. But I've set this up with a few different formulas we can use. We can adjust the bound to zero using this, just using a unit step function. The reason this works, the unit step function, if you're not familiar, it's just a very simple function that's zero everywhere until at some value, some x value a, it's gonna take on the value of one. So if this thing's our unit step function here, when you multiply in a function like this onto another function, everything to the left is gonna get zeroed out and everything was we're multiplying by one, everything to the right is gonna be the same. So it has this effect of putting our integral back to zero where we can use the Laplace transform, but at the same time, we haven't changed it. So using this second formula here, what we'll do is I'll just change this from zero to infinity, insert this unit step function where this a value is gonna be this. So it's gonna be starting at one. So I'll write it as x minus one. Our function here is gonna be x to the fifth. And then one thing on e minus x, let me just change this a little bit and create a parameter, an s on there, where we're just gonna know that s is gonna be equal to one. I'm doing this just to set up the Laplace transform, but we'll go back and plug in at the end. But now that we've written it like this, that's going to allow us to treat this like a Laplace transform. Really this down here, it's going to be, the way we can write this is going to be just using our definition of the Laplace transform. This is going to be the Laplace transform u x minus one x to the fifth. And so now we have it in this form here, we can go to our formula. Where the a value on it, I think we mentioned it there, right? Our a value is one, our s value for later is one. So what's gonna happen, we're gonna have e. For the a, we'll just plug in the one. For the s, we'll leave it for now. So I'll just leave this as e to the minus s. And then we'll do the s, we'll plug in for s at the end. And then for the other part, we're gonna want the Laplace transform of our shifted function now, shifting this by one, this becomes x plus one to the fifth. So before I can take the Laplace transform, I really need to just expand this out using Pascal's triangle or whatever. But then now if we split this up, we have six easy Laplace transforms we can do just using this formula. They're all, it's just a big polynomial. So we'll do that out really quick. We'll still have this E minus S in front. Then using the formula, so for the first one, our N value is just gonna be this five. So we're gonna have five factorial over S to the five plus one, just S to the six. Then for the next one, five, four factorial, s to the five. And then we'll just go ahead and do each of them the same way, just turning the exponent into a factorial. But now one shortcut you could do in the calculation, if you just know, you know s equals one, so none of the denominators are gonna matter, right? One to the six, all these are gonna be one. So this stuff all goes away. And so all it's left to do is kind of add all this together and finish it off when we get a little space. So let's just bring our solution up into this area. Now one thing, I need to plug in the s right there on the e to the minus s, we didn't get that one yet. So e to the minus one is just gonna be one over e. And then here, five factorial, that's gonna be 120. Then again, that's five factorial, so that's also 120. 10 times three factorial, six times 10, 60. Two times 10, 20. Here, that's just a five plus one. Add this all up, 240, 300, 326 over E. So for my final solution of this, we just get 326 over E, and that's it. Okay, there you go, MIT 2025. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.